Welcome, welcome everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty darn good one. So, we are back over here on Atlas. And we're heading toward this island right here. I've already pulled up one of our sails. Which uh, looks like I'm going to have to put it back down because we've slowed down quite a bit. Uh, fully deploy sail. Okay. Anyway, as I say, we're heading back over here into the Arctic because this was the first place we encountered crows. And I figured, you know... Today we're going to come and tame us a crow on this glorious new day. Sun's just coming up into the clouds. Oh, below the water we go. Ooh, take a dip. Uh, so I figured we'd come over here and try, 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 that is, to find us a good crow. And let's turn a little bit. We kind of want to come up over here where the trees are at. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, goodness, turn. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. All right. Close these. No, oh, actually... Quick, quick, quick. Close these cells. And back on the steering wheel. Alright, let's turn it inland a little bit. I still ain't got the full control of this, y'all. Like, this this whole crazy steering that's going on with this. Like, it just ain't there for me. But, like I said, we're wanting to tame a crow today, hopefully. Cross your fingers. Wish us luck. But I also need to talk to you all about the future of Atlas on my channel. Um... They have recently just announced a very large change coming to Atlas very soon. Uh, and it's going to... Is that a crow? No, that's a seagull. It is basically going to be the complete change of Atlas as we all know it. Um, which is good. It needs it. It's a very good game, but it has things that need to be fixed. And can I drop something? Yes. Fantastic. Um... I'm pretty excited for what's coming, but at the same time, I think we're going to be ending Atlas temporarily on the channel, because I've kind of come into basically what I can, I mean, there's still lots more to do, but I've explored my map, we've discovered we're missing resources, there are things we can't tame, we don't even have access to creatures, there's a crow right over there, um, we don't have access to some of the creatures, we don't have access to some of the resources on this map. I need to figure out a better way to do this, um, maybe even unofficial, I don't know, I really don't want to do the official thing, y'all, I'm going to be completely honest, um, it's not, it's just not my cup of tea, it's really fun, don't get me wrong, I have really enjoyed Atlas, and I honestly think Atlas has got potential to be an amazing game, in particular for the single player, or the small tribes who like to play you know, together more offline than on official servers. Um, I'm hoping with some of these changes that are coming that that is going to become a bigger thing. I'm hoping with the dev kit released on um, the Epic Store that will become more of a thing. Uh, but for me, as it stands right now, I've kind of hit my wall on Atlas. Um, like I said, there are plenty more to do, but with things changing, I don't really see the point to progress. At the moment, we will come back to the game, though. I, that is every intention. If nothing else, I'm going to do spotlights on some of the mods that eventually come out. Uh, and keep you all updated on the single-player, small tribe playability of the game. But with today's episode of Taming the Crow, it will probably be the end for us. Now, that is honestly not to say it won't come back at some point for whatever reason. That thing just knocked out that... Let's get it. But that's okay. It's it's sad, but it's exciting because that means we've got room for more other content to come. And I think we're going to stop it there. I want to remind y'all, if you support what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you learn anything from today's episode, smack that thumbs up button. Comment below let me know what you thought. If you got any questions, just your tips. In particular, if you know a way to set up a better single player or a one by one server, I'm all ears. I know there are maps, but they are, I'm not going to lie, it's still pretty complicated for the layman. While I know how to do it, it's just one of them things. So let's find us a crow. Now, taming a crow. I honestly have no idea how we tame a crow. Uh, the, ooh, bears. Uh, what is that? Lingo berries. Um, I know how to tame a crow. You heard it, put a bowl on it, feed it earthworms. They like earthworms. Do not put your earthworms on a bear. The bear will eat the earthworms. Lesson learned. Takes a long time to dig up our, to dig up um, 
And you know what? I never made my spyglass like from last time. I totally forgot about that. Anyways, uh, it takes a long time to dig up birthworms. Matter of fact, it is a little stupid. Um, anyways, but I have an idea on how to tame said crow. Is that a this? That is a level 2 female crow. Hmm. What do you look like up close? You're not bad. Kind of like the red tip wings. It'd be easy to tame a level 2. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what else we got. Let's get rid of these wolves. Our action packed. Wolf smacking. Seagull beating. Oh, wow. Did you see that? That seagull totally kicked that, that wolf's butt. Holy moly. <laughs> that is one B.A. seagull. Okay. Let's go find a scroll. So the idea is I'm going to build a taming pin to catch the crow in and then we're basically going to put ourselves in the line of fire and let the crow beat on us um I was hoping we'd find one near base which we're gonna, or near the boat which is fine if we find one we can always come and bring the boat to said crow which is nice and pretty cool if we find it on the ocean that way we can spawn <laughs> if the crow killed us which, if you've ever tried to tame a bird, or if you've ever accidentally hit a seagull, you know they are no joke. They will kick your butt before you can kill them if you're not careful. <laughs> ah, there's a crow right there. Look at you. Are you pretty? I'm kind of looking for one with blue tip wings. It's not all that important, but you know, it'd be kind of cool. All the same. Where'd you go? Red tipped. I think I'd take a red tipped wing. We seen one one day with blue wings and he was beautiful. Mm, oh, there's one right there. Thank you. I can't see your information. You are a level three something. Hmm. Oh, you know what? We're not gonna be super picky. I want a crow. It is something that has been on my to-do list. We're going to do it before we end the series. Uh, hopefully that is something now that I know how to feed them. It's something when we come back for season two of Atlas, cross your fingers, that we will tame one up quickly because who does not want a crow to sit on their shoulder? I mean, that is my, my call. Oh, good Lord, what just happened? Ooh, what just went down with that? Well, apparently it's now nighttime. That was really weird. I just, when we just started, the sun had just came up. Yep. Yep. I don't know what went down. <laughs> Sometimes I think there's someone else on the server, even though I know there's not. It's really freaky. All right. So let's do this. Let's let's build our box. We'll talk about how to get the, the stuff needed to tame said crow. And yeah, this is a perfect place to build a box. All right. Do I have the stuff on me? I do indeedy. Now. You probably don't need more than one. I'm going to go uh, a two because it makes it a little bit easier to catch said crow. You're going to want walls. I am actually going to say you could go too tall if you wished. Um, you know, I just realized I did not bring doors. So we're probably going to have to make some doors here. I'm going to put down two doors. And only two doors, and we will explain why here in a moment. Matter of fact, we could probably put the railings if we really wanted to, but I'm not going to. Because I don't want to risk it. And then I'm going to go... Uh, how many walls do we have left, I think? I'm going to go half wall because that way we have extra space at the top. And I'm going to need two more walls. That is fine, we can do this. Because we need doors as well. What am I having? What? Ooh. Level 8 male crow with blue wings. That's perfect. Let's get this done quickly. Okay, we need thatch. Thatch. Come on, thatch. Come on. Uh, we need this thing of armor. No, I don't want lingo berries. I want that. Fine. There we go, cotton. That works. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure we can at least make thatch in our inventory. I don't remember if we made wood or not. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need two of these. 
Doot. And I need two walls. Doot. Bam. We got this. Now hopefully that nice male crow that we just seen sticks around here somewhere in the area. And we can get him. Alright, so. Uh, walls. Let's finish this. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I noticed something back at base. I had brain fart while we were talking there. Um, I had a seagull get inside my house. And I noticed that when it went up to the corner of walls, it kind of bugged out. Um, it acted weird. Like, I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. It was very strange. Uh, <laughs> now, I just realized something. We may need to pick up one of these walls. Because I do not know if a crow can fly through a door. Important note. Door if in, open inside. Alright, now. Bolas, do I have them? I do indeed. First, before we continue. Let's talk about how you get worms. And I can't put that on there because, you know, stupid. Okay, so. To get worms, you're going to need multiple shovels. <laughs> Trust me on this. Now, I don't know if we can get them here. Um, I know that they, they exist in the tropical dirts bore. You're going to middle mouse click. Important there, middle mouse. Oh, and I missed the last one, but that's okay. So we got limestone from that one. Let's drink us some water. I already have a bunch of worms, but this is how you do it. Middle mouse. We got roots. Roots. Let's find a different spot to dig. We got Pete that time. Ooh, that's a new one. Well, we got him, but that's weird. You basically do this. And like I said, I don't know about on this frozen island. On the tropical islands, I know for a fact. Because look, I have a whole mess of earthworms here. <laughs> that I managed to dig up. And you're going to do this. And, and trust me, I went through three shovels. Well, I made three shovels, but I repaired my shovel three times. And that's why I brought three shovels with me, was to show you all. This is how you do it. You just sit here and do this. Dig. Dig. Middle mouse. Middle mouse. It's important. Middle mouse. Oh, look, I got a gold coin. I've never seen one of those before. Well, I think we're going to stop. Because I have what I need. Y'all know how to do it. That is, that's how you do it. That's what's important. So let's find that crow. Is this it? No, that is a level four male. Where did that level eight male go? They have blue wings, y'all. Why weren't we ready for it? It's never ready when you want it, but is that it? No. Bunch of stupid seagulls. Ah, there, right there, right there. No, that's a chicken. Why you fool me, chicken? Don't do that. That's food. All right, let's look. Let's look. Look, 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 look. run. Jump. I can't see. I can't see. Where'd it go? We won't bet that's it way out there. It's like, haha, ha, I'm going to fly to another island, but you're a dummy. <laughs> okay. One good thing. When you do find said bird that you want and you aggro it, it will be very easy to get it back to your base because they are very aggro. <laughs> they don't lose aggro easy <laughs> and they are good and fast <laughs> yeah, chicken wait, wait 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 right there is a female with blue feathers man okay run run oh she is on me so fast okay so this is what you're gonna do you're going to run past your base, or at least you're going to get a good straight shot. You're going to run towards your base and in. And now, shut your door and crouch. She will still be able to hit you. But being crouched, she can't hit you as much. And then you can proceed very carefully. Beat the snot out of her. Very carefully. Key word there. I've already got a bow on the thing because they die very easy mm. 
we may have to deal with that. Something is attacking over. We may have things gone really bad. Okay. There we go. Whew. Things went really bad really fast, y'all. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's do this again. Where'd it go? Oh, did I kill it? And there you go. That is why you have to be very careful. Yeah. Y'all seen that. It had over a quarter health life, and I accidentally killed it. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Alright, well, let's go find another crow, and we will try this all over again. Stupid lion. Alright, y'all. There we go. No, I learned a lesson this time. Do this slowly, because apparently it takes them a minute to take damage. Um, now, we'll put our worms on our last slot, like normal. Feed earthworm. Bingo, there we go. It is that easy. It, it, well, it's not easy, but it is. It really is. It's... <laughs> As they go, it's one of the easier things. <laughs> the hard part is not killing them. Now this goes for the same for every flyer. Granted, not every flyer eats worms. <laughs> they each have their own specialty, which you can look up on the wiki. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, it's super simple. Like it's really not that hard. Like really not that hard. We may get this guy tamed with one bola. I'm hoping. Cross your fingers, y'all. I'm really excited about this, just so y'all know. Like, I'm really excited. Let's let's do this real quick. Let's only do that. That way, in case something happens, our our bear will defend itself this time and not <laughs> be a dummy. And yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm excited, y'all. We're getting a crow. It's got blue wings. I don't care that it's a low level. High level would be nice, but it's okay. I'm not going to be picky on this. I'm going to consider crows like most shoulder pets from Ark that are basically disposable. Even though who really wants a disposable crow because crows are awesome. So now, you may ask, why tame a crow? Well, uh, I am not entirely sure about this, but this is okay. So we're going to check right here. One on your shoulder, you get a stat bonus from your crow of intelligence. Now let's we're inside our box here. Let's find out just how much we get. Uh, intelligence is at 171.9. Let's get him off our shoulder. Wait for a minute. It's at 160. Okay, so my intelligence is 160. We pick him up, and it goes to 171.9. So this level, uh, whatever level this guy is, hold on. Our level 5 crow at tame, which, hold on, let's look at his stats. Uh, 45 health. 986 food, 165 oxygen, don't take him underwater, 15 weight, uh, 120 stamina, and 114 melee damage. So, from 160, so he gives us 11.9, uh, almost 12 intelligence. I'm going to say that's pretty awesome. Like, let's check ourselves out, y'all. Y'all ready for this big reveal? Dun dun. Like, we can't. Oh, wow, look at his eyes. Okay, we're gonna put you down, dude. Uh, let's 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 find some sunlight. Buddy. Come here, bear. Wait, can I see him on the bear? No. Okay. Whatever. Let's get some sunlight so we can see what we're doing here. Is it nice and bright over here yet? It is not. Oh well. Seems safer over here. That's fine. Uh, land. Go ahead, land, 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 land. Land. I said land. Are you not going to land? Okay, I want you to land. No, no, don't go over sea. Whatever you do, do not go over the sea. Well, he's go away. He's a bit of a, a bit of a pain, is he not? Okay. So, what happened to the red eye we seen? Yo, dude, it would be really awesome if you would just, like, 
land. So he has blue eyes. That's cool. I thought he had red eyes. Y'all see that minigun with the red eye? Let's see that again. Stand up, dude. Come on. You're being difficult. Oh, I guess not. Well, there we go. We tamed a crow. That is a lot easier than I expected. I'm going completely honest. I really want a whole bunch of crows. But, I, you know, it's kind of funny that we tame a crow for our last episode for the season. Because crows are supposed to signify death, which that that's silly, y'all. That's silly. Crows are the, the, the creature of uh, Thor. And, you know, like... I like crows. Crows are smart. You can actually teach a crow to talk. True story. Uh, let's see. Any others? Maybe we can find... What is this? This is a male, right? Maybe we can find a female. Since I got some worms left. I've only got two worms left. We're not going to tame that one. But there we go, y'all. That is my bird taming box. Um, now you see why I made it with the short wall. They tend... I, I noticed this in my base. They seem to fly up there and just get stupid. <laughs> like, I don't know. I have no idea. But it works. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you learned anything, you want to show your support, hit that thumbs up button. You can comment below, let me know what you thought. If you got any questions, gestures, tips, I'd really like to hear y'all's opinions on how to make Atlas better for the single. Oh wow, he is, he is just gorgeous. I am so in love with my bird. I love it. It's so sad that this is our, our last day, day together and our first day. But as y'all can see, I am old, old, old. It is time for retirement. So comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if there's anything you want to see. Any other games you want to see. If you just want to say hi, I'm easy. Y'all know that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share as you would so others find it easy. We're chasing us on here. <laughs> and remember, y'all, stay safe. Have fun. Never stop exploring. And there's a cow on our face that was so rude. <laughs> Game on.